How often should you clean your toilet? You probably never thought of it before, but the answer is once per day. I know, it sounds like an awful lot, but if you'll do this process, it's one habit, takes 10 seconds out of your day. If you'll do this every single day for the rest of your life, you'll never have toilet rings inside your toilet and you can prevent the need from really expensive and really corrosive chemicals being inside your toilet, okay? Here's how it works. When you get up first thing in the day, the very first thing nature does is it sends you to the bathroom to do your business. Once you get in there and you've done your business and you flush the toilet, you're already at the toilet. So we're gonna clean the toilet every single day at the very top of the day as your very first item of business after you've done your business. Now you're there at the toilet and there's probably a toilet brush right there to the side of your toilet. So we're gonna take the toilet brush out. This one has an under the rim brush. So I prefer this one, but anyone will do. We're gonna pop it inside the toilet and it's clean water because you just flushed. We're gonna pop this inside. There's a water level where the rings build up and we're gonna go around that water line three times. One, two, three. Then we're gonna take the toilet brush and we're gonna pop it inside the neck of the toilet and we're gonna give it three twists. One, two, three. Then we're gonna bring it back up underneath the rim and we're gonna go around the rim one, two, three times. Then when we're done, we're gonna pop it back inside. We're gonna flush the toilet. We're gonna swish it around and wash it off. Then we're gonna set this on the edge of the toilet seat and we're gonna close the toilet seat over the top of it so that it can drip dry into the toilet, okay? That is the exercise and the new habit that takes 10 seconds a day. All right, here's the thinking behind it. If we were to use really strong corrosive chemicals every single day, that's not healthy, right? It's not necessary and it's very expensive just to buy a bottle of really heavy duty cleaning toilet bowl cleaner, right? There is a need for this. And I do recommend this as a product if you have a really dirty, nasty toilet, but you don't need it at every single toilet clean. Here's how it works. Imagine, we'll stop for just a second and we'll, we'll get off the toilet thing, but imagine for a second that you're really hungry. And so you go to an all you can eat restaurant buffet and you walk up and down the aisles and you put all kinds of delicious looking food on your plate. Then you go back to your table and you just consume it until you're so full that you waddle out of the buffet and you're like, oh, I'm so full, I ate so much food. All right, what happens is three hours later, it's time to eat again. And you're like, no, I just ate. I don't need more food. So you might have a little snack, right? Just to kind of top off your belly, but you don't need a whole great big meal. It's the same concept with the cleaning solution. You don't need the great big heavy duty version every single time. So what we're gonna do with just the brush is this is just the snack, the snack pack, right? What we're gonna do is we're just gonna top it off and every single day brush out the rings. Then every two weeks, you do wanna drop a little bit of chemicals in there just to make sure that there's no buildup whatsoever. For this, we can use a powdered cleanser. Now in my hand, I have Comet cleanser, but there are other kinds of cleansers you can use. This Comet cleanser on a pH scale is about a number 10. Okay, so it's pretty safe for the environment when you consider that the pH scale of our Lysol Lime and Rust cleaner is a number one, okay? So this is very strong and very corrosive. And this one is not so strong and it's not so corrosive. And so this is gonna be a lesser choice. So when it comes to cleaning chemicals, if I don't need the heavy duty one, I'm not gonna use it. So that's like, if I don't need to eat the great big meal because I'm famished, I'll just have a little snack, right? We're gonna go light on the chemicals because we don't need the heavy dutiness of it all. But this simple exercise of cleaning your toilet every single day will do wonders for your toilet. And every time you go in there, it will change your toilet experience. Now, once a week, you're gonna wipe down the rest of the toilet. That's the top of the toilet tank, the back of the toilet, the bidet, the sides, the seat, all that stuff. But for the most part inside your own private home, you don't need to wipe all that down every single day unless, and the rule is unless, you have reason to do so. So if you have toddlers or teenagers that you know pee on the toilet seat and on the side and the walls around it and whatever, yeah, you do need to clean that up immediately so that you don't have a, a stench buildup in your toilet. But for the most part, most people just using it on a regular basis, this little exercise for 10 seconds a day will keep your toilet in tip top shape until your regular cleaning on a weekly or a bi-weekly clean when either your house cleaner comes or you go ahead and you pull out your maintenance cleaning supplies. All right, now, if you're gonna try this experiment with me and you're gonna implement this new habit, give me a thumbs up. 
I'm super excited to hear your suggestions and your stories and how it goes for you. All right, until then, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it. Oh, <laughs>